Hello! Um, so I thought I'd do a little gardening video today. I haven't done a video for ages. Um, kind of lost my mojo for it really. Because um, the editing's a ball like. Um, but anyway, I'm doing a bit of gardening today and I wanted to show you my garden because it's rubbish. <laughs> That's lovely. That's tempting, isn't it? But also, I'm hoping to do a little bit of work on it this year and maybe share it with everyone. I will do other videos as well again, I think. Um, I just think I just needed a break. So, um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you my garden. So I'm going to flick around and do your tour. Back door and yeah, pop. We keep it outside to keep it cool, which is annoying, but you know. I've got a little strawberry plant from about two years ago, which was a gift, and it just does never wants to die. This was a hydrangea. It had some damage in the uh, autumn, and it just basically the whole top half snapped off, and it's really upset me. But there are signs of life, so I'm hopeful. It didn't. It did. Um, bloom not last year the it bloomed last year but year before it didn't and i'm not sure if it's every other year but if it just grows back i'd be really happy so yeah and uh i've got my blue pot my two blue troughs full of stuff um i've got these rusted pots i need to replace this i never used some lights i think i died um i've got a second blue pot beer <laughs> um something don't know my bakashi bins which I've left just 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 to rot essentially which is what they're there for and this thing I can't remember what it is but it's really happy so that's good got a second blue thing here various stuff isn't it these cactuses will never die um, little ferns never grown and stones and then my big garden and I would say is that this garden is I moved in with my partner five years ago Four and a half years ago, five years ago, and this garden was just literally covered with a mound of junk. <sighs> toys, trampolines, um, you know, like toddler toys. My stepson is 11 and a half now. They were just left here to rot. So, first year I did nothing. Second year I just cleared this because I just, I just couldn't live with it at all. It wasn't cool to me. And then the second, third year, I all I did was to clear these stones, so that this one out. And just did that, left it as it was. Put some things in some pots, uh, and then did that. Bought this, I think it's in its third year now. And then gradually over the last couple of years, I start to pot things. Um, in the summertime, I did keep it quite smart, but as you can see, winter's taken its toll, and I've not maintained it. <clears throat> so, but this, like, it's just, yeah, it's not good. So, I think my task today is to have a little tidy, see what on earth I'm gonna do. And then make up a plan. So I have brought out my notebook to make a list because I'm a list maker. So I think that's my plan for today. The lot so much stuff has died. Things are very unhappy. But you know, new door, new day, and all that. See? Um I bought a load of stuff from like bargain shop, eat Amazon, I bought some of these propagators. I got loads of seeds this year. I got a gardening magazine and you get free seeds every week, which is really cool. So I'm going to do what they tell me and grow some things. got some new pots from Poundland, got these diggery things. I've got some bulbs under there, which I'm going to put in today because I need to be in. Some of these little biodegradable dobby jobbies. That was for a painting project I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Pop. Uh, some rainwater. Um, yeah. It's just really just been a massive big wreck, isn't it, really? Um, I did put these down because my cats, I had two cats, I had one cat lady here. She passed away in October. We got some kittens, brother and sister, and after six weeks, he died. So I lost two cats in um, six weeks. It was just heartbreaking. So um, I painted those. That's what that paint's for. So Because this is her favorite spot. She just loves sitting in the sunshine and squashing everything that grew there. I did plant some bulbs last year, which have started to sprout, which is lovely. I'm so happy about. But there's a lot more to do. I can't remember what these things are. I know that one. I think it's a, I know that, either that one or this one's a buddlier. And I know that they like butterflies. So that's it, really. I've got, I think, plan for today. Tidy up. I want to take all my lights down and put them all in the centre of the garden to charge. See if any of them have got life in there. Put up all my bird feeders because they've been empty for a few days. I'll make a list. And that's pretty much my plan. So that's my little hello to my garden. And uh, I've got the week off because my stepson's with us, and I'm going to pot around every day. 
and just try to uh, do little bits every day. So that's it, that's me sharing and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> and if you've got any help, please send it. This is going to be a uh, labour of love, I think. And so I've been out for a couple of hours and I call it a day. Uh, sun, sun's just a second come out, but it's been pretty overcast since I've <laughs> been out in the last few hours. Um, essentially just cleaned the garden, tidied it up really, because it was just gross and it really smells now, like stagnant -y mouldy death it's horrible so something's rotten in here it happens i guess all i did was water here and moved all my plants from over this side and just put them over here to sort through i pulled all of this out and just cleaned just tried to get some of the bird poop off from down here it was gross cleaned all these and covered those up because that was really really quite toxic so i my bins um yeah i'm 50 50 about just buying a cold frame I'm putting it here for my seeds this year. I've got one of those little plasticky greenhouses, which has worked, but it's about three years old now. And um, I want to buy a cold, I want to share down a cold frame, but it's expensive, so I'm tempted. Um, obviously, I hate my, one of my bugbears is bins, um, but we've been told the council is going to be no longer providing a green bin service as of next year. So I, bought, I just bought sort of a composting bin, and it's due at some point in the week. So I'm making my own compost from, I don't have a lot of garden waste, but um, I might as well reuse it um, and get rid of one of the bins because I, I really despise them. Um, so I'm going to get a shed in here with the bins. It's just more non-greenery than greenery. So yeah, I've scrubbed all this down because there was weird stuff all over it um, as well as like hamster food. My partner put it out for the birds, bless them, and they left a bit of a mess. And it's, as you can see, seeds everywhere, but... The birds have been lurking. Uh, I can hear. Can you hear them? Uh, and the ambulance. Um, the birds have been lurking. I've had a few worms pop their heads up because it's actually been quite a dry um, winter. I just well, I hadn't really thought about it. Um, so I gave everything a good drink as well. So that's all scrubbed. Um, I think tomorrow. Yeah. So um, plans for tomorrow are. Well, I'm going to leave these to see if they can charge. These are all on my um, my um, LED. Um, lights and see if they'll charge up and if I can save any of those for this summer but yeah just generally see what happens tomorrow and get things um, bulbs I think tomorrow get some bulbs in the ground and um, yeah that's my lot so uh, yeah thanks for watching <laughs>